Today, Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds called a special session of the state legislature. The goal is to enact pro-life legislation. Lawmakers meet July 11th now at 11 or excuse me, 830 in the morning, I should say, for that special session. This is after the state Supreme Court ruled three to three back in June to uphold a 2019 district court ruling blocking the so-called fetal heartbeat bill. It would have banned abortion six weeks into a pregnancy. The measure also would have contained exceptions for rape, incest, fetal abnormality, and medical emergency. Abortion is legal in the state right now up until the 20th week in a pregnancy. Governor Reynolds said in a statement in part, I believe the pro-life movement is the most important human rights cause of our time. Not only will I continue to fight against the inhumanity of abortion, but I will also remain committed to supporting women in planning for motherhood, promoting fatherhood and parenting, and continuing policies that encourage strong families. These are the most essential building blocks of our society, and they are what will keep the foundation of our state and country strong for generations to come. Meanwhile, Iowa Democratic leaders responded to Governor Reynolds' call for this special session. Iowa House Democratic leader Representative Jennifer Converst of Windsor Heights said in a statement in part, quote, it's clear the governor and GOP leaders are not listening to Iowans because a strong majority support reproductive freedom. Everyone deserves the right to make their own health care decisions, especially when it comes to reproductive care and abortion. Politicians and judges have no place interfering in someone else's decisions about when to start a family, end quote. 